Bag them up. Plastic bags could soon be a thing of the past in the city. Yeah, today a city councilman is introducing a bill to ban them altogether. WMAR 2 News' Abby Isaacs is live from City Hall with more on this proposal. Abby? Well, the bill has now been introduced to the city council and it heads to a committee. Now, this is not the first or even second time city council members have tried to reduce plastic bag usage and pollution in Baltimore City. It's actually the ninth time, according to the bill's sponsor, but they hope this one sticks. A plastic bag floats in the inner harbor, the target of a new bill in Baltimore. We're trying to help Baltimore City be more sustainable. We're trying to eliminate the reliance on plastic. The comprehensive bag reduction bill would ban the distribution of all plastic bags in stores at checkout and impose a five cent fee for paper and other compostable bags. Councilman Bill Henry introduced the bill at a press conference this afternoon with other city council members and bill supporters. Adam Lindquist from the Waterfront Partnership says plastic bags are one of the leading sources of pollution as they work to make the harbor safe for swimming. Mr. Trashwheel has collected over 650,000 plastic bags from the Baltimore Harbor since we installed him in 2015. What damage are we willing to do to the environment for the sake of convenience, right? To have a plastic bag that we use for, you know, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and then it lasts for decades after that. But on average, Americans use 300 plastic bags each per year, or about 100 billion plastic bags. Advocates hope the bill will get more people to bring their own bags to the grocery store. The council passed a similar ban five years ago, but that was vetoed by then Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake. This time around, people like Mitch Jones with the Food and Water Watch are optimistic with the change in environmental and political climates. This time there is uh, a real shot of getting it passed and having it uh, signed by the mayor. After all, the current mayor was the president of the city council when the city council passed the bill uh, a few years ago. Low-income families will not have to pay the five-cent fee for the paper and compostable bags. Now, this bill will head to the Judiciary and Legislative Investigations Committee, and that hearing date has not yet been set. Live at City Hall, Abby Isaacs, WMAR 2 News.